not as diligent on things that he might otherwise be in other boardrooms because he's got an enormous upside in his he has, that's true. He, that's true. Yes. And Jürg's not young. Yeah, but, 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 but if you... Those are L-tips. If that... If he really did understand that license agreement, he will understand they are worthless. <laughs> That's why I don't think he ever read, because the written resolution doesn't reflect the, the underlying agreement, because Marco was very smart. He moved away these things. It's in the license. So the, this, if you take the loan agreement, it looks like a straightforward loan. It's not. It's a controlling... It, it, was, it was really, I have to say... This my, is 100 million. He had 100 million. Yeah. Swiss franc. That we never asked for. Yeah, and <laughs> we never asked for it. Calvin wanted it in there. No, it wasn't Marco that wanted it. It was Calvin that wanted it because he wanted to blow the number up over yeah, yeah. 500. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, he yeah, wanted yeah. to bundle it all So in. it looks like And this. I was on this fucking interview with him with this chick from New York. And she Tech goes, crush. Yeah, and she goes... So, Calvin, what's the... Breakdown. What's the, the breakdown? breakdown? Yeah. He didn't want to answer that question. Because no. he can't answer that question. No, he can't. Because if, if you answer the question fully, yeah. people look at it and go, this is all fucking fluffy shit. Yeah. yeah. It's a licence agreement that really means nothing. No, but, 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 it's, it's a, it's a hundred thousand, hundred million dollar line of credit that no one was intending on using, but now Andy's opened the fucking door because he's drawing down 12 million of it. Yeah. yeah which yeah. is now causing Marco a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful what you fucking wish for, boys, because it might come back to buy you. Yeah. yeah. No, it's true. Yeah? It's you true. throw in a hundred million dollar line of credit to puff up your chest and make yourself look good yeah. and the next thing you know you've got to write out a cheque for 12. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's true, it's true. But I don't think you're... And, and, you, know I sure. threw a, you know I threw a tantrum. Hmm? I threw a tantrum at Marco. That's why Calvin, second last meeting we had at his house, talked about delusion. Yeah. Oh, he talked about delusion. Yeah, remember, yeah, he, yeah, remember he said... Uh, and he specifically was talking to me yeah, yeah. about my position yeah, continually being yeah, deluded, yeah, and that's yeah. not fair. Yeah. Because yeah. I threw a fucking tantrum at Marco. Yeah. Because I said, you're fucking manipulating all this fucking shit, and you're doing all this shit. Every time I turn around, I'm being deluded by this, that, something else, and it's all to Calvin and the family office's benefit. Wouldn't fucking be here if it wasn't for me. No, true. So then he would be, 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 Sometimes I do these things to find out where the, where the, the smoke goes. <laughs> <laughs> but you've been living in this system mm. for a while, so you know how to operate it. Yeah. I, th I threw a bone at, uh, at Nico, oh, uh, but, it, but it hasn't resurfaced. It hasn't? No. Um, the other week, I, 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 uh, when he was there telling me about his new fucking job, so I, I threw a couple of taglines in there and I thought, this will take about 12 hours and I'll have Marco on the phone. Yeah. Because this guy is a snake. Yeah. He's the probably worst fucking snake. He's worse than Marco. Because I was, I was ready to, I was ready to, uh, when Marco got on the phone, I was going, if he got on the phone, I would have told him to get fucked. And then I would add Calvin. And uh, that was at that point I was going to say to Calvin, mate, remember you fucking told me? Don't ask me how, don't ask me when, but this is a mistake. And this guy, a mistake. this guy is he's high on himself. Not good. And he's not good for us. And you're and you're allowing the family office to put him in a position which amplifies his defects. But, but I, I don't understand how you can be so stupid that you implement, you, it's like, you write down that service agreement. Nico is Calvin's new shiny thing. These new shiny things, like Johnny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Johnny, yeah, yeah. They don't last. They don't last. 
and sometimes I've been around Calvin long enough to know unless it's really a- affecting me, there's no point taking a fight against it because it will. It's like you ever seen magnesium burn in a yeah. laboratory? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. gone. There's no idea taking a fight. No, no. Sometimes you got to, but more often than not, just let just let the the, the magnesium burn itself out. But the problem is, we don't. I don't want to go into you know. I can I can use a very simple word, legal word, on what Marco is doing. Do you know what it's called? No. Conspiracy to defraud. <laughs> let me put it to you this way: if there's five hundred million, a billion any fucking number on the table then is the time to talk to Kelvin privately mm-hmm. if we want to do these deals and we want to play the big boys game you can't have the fucking small boys running around the place pretending to play business no, I want to re- we've got to get rid of them to this way. but that's the time to get rid of them yeah. I can I know not now no no I know let them play their game no no they're harmless. I, I, I don't you know why they're harmless? Because they're dumb. They don't understand the business. They don't understand the business. I'm about to put a little bit of pressure on uh, uh, Robert but, Allison. But, but if you... Okay. If you watch him split, he'll oh. crack in half. Uh, he crack in half. Seriously. You, you know what's going to happen? Oh. Inside of three or four months, the family office come back and say, Robert's got so many other things to do in other areas. And he will go, yeah, and I agree. Because yeah. oh. he won't be able to stand the heat. No, no, he will not. I, I agree with you regarding Jörg. I agree because I, I've seen a change in behavior. Yeah, Jörg's just gone into a holding he's, he's, Yeah, and, and he, he wait. He doesn't even yeah. want to see. He, he, he play low. What you don't see... You know, that's what he does. He he doesn't want to go. That's why. But in my world, either Marco dealt with him, which he may have done, which I don't think because I I, I just think he keeps the door open. Jurg keeps the door open. Yeah, he does. But you know what? Put this way. I know exactly how to get rid of that family office. In time. Yeah, no, it's a matter of time. Yeah. But I mean it. We need to do it because we are not compliant mm-hmm. having them there. We are not following the rules. For me, that family office is a liability. I feel them. they're a liability to the business. Uh, they're a fucking danger to the business. They're... Um, and we are not compliant. We can't even put in compliant rules. You know, how the fuck should we do that? You imagine the fucking damage I could do yeah. if I went rogue. I know. Think and about they it. don't ever think I'm going to go rogue. No, no, no. But think about it. If we, just you and me, mm. and so far, went up to Calvin and told him the danger zone, you think that family office will be off our back fast and fuck? I tell you. Wait till Marco's gone. Yeah, you yeah, know. Timing. Politics. I, I, I agree. Yeah, but, no, but timing is... But, there's, but one, the there's one thing that Calvin reacts to. I know what he reacts to. Fear. Yeah, no, I know that. I know that. And Marco yeah. plays the fear game as well as anyone. Yeah, no, no. He, but you know what? He, he, he plays... He plays yeah. it. Yeah. He played the play option game. So he is, he always, you know what? I know exactly how it works. He has you. Marco. No. Calvin hedges. Calvin hedges. He's, the only thing he knows, because he's attached to Spanish, so he knows how to hedge. So he's hedging. This alternative, this, 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 there's always a hedge. That's his weakness too, because I will not always look for the hedge. And then you know what you're looking for. Well, one of his biggest hedges was the $300 million pledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's not dumb. Well, he's not dumb. He knows there's a cliff face over there. Yeah. Yeah. Because one thing Calvin is is greedy. 
He is greedy. He is greedy. He is. And he's generous when... When it when, suits him. When it suits him. Because he doesn't mind sharing on his condition, deciding... I'm going to tell you a story about Nico. Yeah. Three months ago, two yeah. and a half months ago, when I was in the family office, in my little room, yeah. and Nico was there, closes the door, and he says to me, Stefan, I have a question for you, if you don't mind. By all means. What do I have to do to get a percentage of Calvin's mining business? What? What? I want a percentage of Calvin's mining business. I said, why? Because that's how I operate. I always work best when I've got skin in the game. And if I can get a percentage of his mining business, I'll be totally committed. I said, first of all, you've been here five minutes. Second of all, asking is the wrong thing to do. And thirdly, if Calvin wants you to have a percentage of his mining business or a stake in it, which I don't think he will ever, because you've got no connection to his mining business at all, um, Seen the number. he will give it to you. But he's not going to give it to you now. You have to earn it. You have to earn it. And one thing I will tell you is, if you ask for it, Calvin will cut off. Mm -hmm. Secondly, if you wait, you'll find that he's an extraordinarily generous person. Yeah. If you are delivering something yeah. of value to him. Yeah. yeah. That's what we're dealing with here. Mm -hmm. A greedy motherfucker yeah. who thinks he's sitting on a pot of gold because he's got... He was... How he got into this, he was friends with Valeria. Mm. Yeah. And Valeria got him in to do some job with something, that, some restructuring when they split the family office in half. And he project managed that. And then she promoted him to me. Mm -hmm. And but, become your assistant. But he's a... But he's a oh, he's a... He's a... No, no good person. There's something wrong with him. I I pick flaws. I don't know what it is, but there's something. There's something. There's something not going to work out with him. No, no, no. Yeah, he will not. He will not last. <laughs>